As the Pope touches down in Portugal for World Youth Day, a newly erected billboard casts a shadow on his visit. More than 4,800 children abused by the Catholic Church in Portugal, it reads, along one of Lisbon's busiest streets. The event comes less than six months after a report by a Portuguese commission said at least 4,815 minors were sexually abused by clergy, mostly priests, over 70 years. Francis is reportedly expected to address the issue and meet with victims during his visit. Very disappointing. Um, I'm not sure what to do. All I can say is to be vocal and say our opinion. I guess we're the next generation to just eventually the errors in the church will hopefully come to pass. That's one of hundreds of thousands of young Catholics from around the world who, despite the scandal, have descended upon the capital for the 86-year-old's visit. The five-day event is also sparking criticism due to its estimated cost of more than 150 million euros amid Portugal's cost-of-living crisis. That has Portuguese police protesting in the streets, calling on the government to boost their wages. We are here for the world to see our discontent because this is a global event. For the world to know that Portugal is a safe country, not because of what the political leaders do for the police, but because of what the police do every day, says one officer. In Wednesday's address, the Pope spoke of the cost of living being a detriment, particularly to young people, and what a healthy government should look like. Today, more than ever, it is about correcting the imbalance of a market economy that produces wealth but fails to distribute it, depriving people of resources and security. Held every two to three years in a different city, this marks the first World Youth Day since the pandemic, the world's largest gathering for Catholics in their teens and early 20s. This is also the Pope's first trip since intestinal surgery in June. Michelle Mackey, City News.